When you're receiving multiple different roofing estimates from different contractors, they're almost certainly going to be different prices, sometimes by thousands of dollars. The first question anyone would ask themselves when they get these estimates is why? Are you being scammed? Is the roofer trying to get as much money as possible? Or is it something different? That's what we're gonna be discussing today so that we can answer that question for you. I'm Brandon Hayfley with Bill Reagan Roofing Company and thank you for watching The Roofing Channel. Let's get started. Your material of choice. This is the most obvious one, but it does heavily affect the cost of your overall roof replacement. You could go with one of the cheaper options, like asphalt or screw down metal, or you could go with one of the more expensive options, like copper or slate. Besides the main material that covers your roof that we all see, you could also choose to be getting upgrades for your roof system, such as flashing, which could be upgraded to copper, which provides better aesthetics and higher durability. It's not just the main roofing components like that, but it could also be if you're choosing to get your ventilation upgraded, that could add on to the cost, or if you're having sun tunnels or skylights installed by the roofer during the replacement. Something that used to not affect the cost of your roof replacement too much, but now it does, is the amount of rotten decking that your home may have. Since the pandemic, lumber prices have shot up a lot. So if you have a lot of rotten decking, the price of your roof replacement could change by hundreds or even thousands of dollars. Your roof. Every roof is individually unique and those unique aspects can change the cost of a roof replacement. Depending on how complex a roof system is, which you can usually tell by looking at it from the sidewalk, that's gonna increase the cost of your roof replacement because it's going to be more work. Another thing that's going to bump up the cost of your roof replacement is how easy it is to walk and even get on your roof system. The pitch can affect the cost of your roof replacement with the steeper pitches generally increasing the cost more so than the non-steeper pitches and the accessibility of your roof can affect the cost of it. That is how many stories your house or your roof is up in the air and how much shrubbery or other obstacles need to be maneuvered around to get on your roof in the first place. Other than that, of course, the size of your roof is going to affect the overall cost of your roof replacement. However, something to note is that usually when you're installing materials over a larger area, it's going to be cheaper per square foot than a smaller area. Your roofing contractor. There's a wide range of different variables that affect the cost of how much a roofing contractor charges. A lot of people may state, and the roofer may even state, that they just do better or faster work and that's why they charge more, but usually this simply isn't the case. Sometimes a contractor charges what they need to charge, and sometimes a contractor charges what they want to charge. A contractor who charges what they need is going to add up a different formula that we're gonna talk about in a little bit, but the contractor who charges what they want to charge is simply trying to get as much money as possible. You definitely want the former if you're choosing between two different types of contractors who charge this way. A contractor who is charging what they wanna charge is usually a smaller team, and they're gonna add up how much your entire roof replacement is going to cost for them, and just add the maximum amount that they think that you're going to go for possible so that they can take home the most money. That's why you wanna hire a contractor who's charging what they need. Now, it's gonna be pretty difficult to figure out if a contractor is charging the max amount because they're obviously not gonna tell you that. But there is a way that you can use as hard evidence to figure out if that's the case. Let's say they give you a price, say $1,000 for a roof replacement, and you tell them that another contractor offered you $800, and they say, well, I can go to $700. That means that they were charging you what they want to charge. A contractor, conversely, who is charging what they need is going to go off of a formula. They're gonna add up their overhead, their current cost of pricing materials, a business model if they're following one, their labor costs, the amount extra they need to make a profit, and sometimes the amount of business that they're currently receiving. That's why it's not a flexible price for them. If you wanna find that contractor who's reputable and charging what they need to charge, as well as getting you the best possible price that they can provide for you, you can click on the link below or at the end of this video to watch our video on how to hire a good roofing contractor to find that reputable one. I'm Brandon Hayfley with Bill Reagan Roofing Company, and thank you so much for watching The Roofing Channel. 
If we helped you out today, consider liking this video and subscribing to the roofing channel so we can grow and spread more helpful information to homeowners just like yourself. I'll see you next time.